Hi there, I'm Dylan from Stupid Raisins and in today's video I'm going to show you how to add widescreen bars in Final Cut Pro. If you're going for that cinematic look or preparing your project for the big screen, I'll show you how to do it today. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add the letterbox effect and customize it. I'm gonna show you how to add it to multiple clips at one time. Then I'll show you a technique using shape masks that gives you tons of options. At the end, I'll show you how to animate your widescreen bars to give it a custom look. Open up the effects browser, scroll down to stylize, and you'll find letterbox right there. Drag and drop it to your clip, and you'll immediately see you have some bars there. Select the clip, go to your video inspector, and look under effects. You'll see the letterbox effects and its controls. You can change the size of the bars. Let's go with this one, that looks pretty good. You can also offset the video below it using the offset slider. When I go to the left, the video is pulled down, and when I go to the right, the video moves up. You can also increase the border size if you want by dragging this slider. However, it does max out at 10. We can't go below the set. We can't go below the widescreen bars that were set up here. I can also change the color of this border. The problem is, it only changes the color of this border and not the bars up here. If you have multiple clips that you want to apply your letterbox effect to, it's really easy. Let me turn this one off first. Select all of your clips and then press Alt-G to make a compound clip. Name it whatever you want and press OK. Now they are all one clip together and I can drag and drop that letterbox effect on top of the compound clip. Change the aspect ratio and now you'll see that I have the letterbox on all of my clips, not just the first one. Pause game. I just noticed you haven't subscribed yet. Go ahead and click that beautiful red subscribe button. Thanks. If you find the letterbox effect a little bit limiting and you want to do more, check out the shape mask. It's underneath the masks category in the effects browser. Drag and drop it onto your clip and you'll see you've got a mask already. Let's delete this old letterbox. Let's tweak this shape mask to look like what we made before. We can use these on-screen controls to quickly do it. That looks pretty good. Looks like what we had before. Let's change the color of the bar. Go to your titles and generators, scroll down to generators and select solids. Drag and drop custom below your clip. The mask creates a transparent area right here at the bottom and here at the top. So whatever is below this clip, we will see. So I can put that custom color generator down there go to the generators inspector and now I can change the color to whatever I want and it shows up below there. But widescreen bars are typically black so let's leave it like that. Not only can I change the color but now I can animate these bars. Select the clip with the mask on it and put your place head where you want the animation to start. Go to radius and set a keyframe. Move in about a second and set a new keyframe. Now go back to that first keyframe and use the on-screen controls to pull it down until we don't see those bars anymore. Let's zoom out just a little bit so we can make sure we're not clipping any of the image. All right, that looks good. So now the bars will animate on screen. Not bad. If I want to change the timing, just select the clip and press Control V, and that brings up the keyframe animator, and you can see the keyframes there. If I want it faster, I can bring them closer together. If I want it longer, I'll pull them apart, 
I can also move both of them to change when the animation occurs. I want it to be a little bit faster. When I'm done, I'll just press Ctrl V again to hide the keyframe animator. There we go, that looks good. There's another kind of animation you can do. Go to the beginning of the clip where our first keyframe is, and now, instead of starting off screen, select the effect controls, and you should see the on screen controls come up. Pull them up to the middle until they meet, and we see nothing that's completely black. Go to the next keyframe and adjust them. I think this looks good from our previous example, but if I want less letterbox, I can pull it down. Let's see what that looks like. So now we start with a blank screen and it reveals the video underneath. A shape mask is great because of all the extra options. You can even create a stylized looking letterbox or widescreen bars. Select the clip and go to the video inspector and look for the shape mask controls. One thing we can do is add a little bit of feather if we want it to fade in. So instead of having these hard lines, we now have this fade in from black. It gradually comes in to the video clip. We can take that a little bit further and add this curvature back in. Let's make this a little bit wider here. And now we have this kind of vignette looking letterbox where it curves up on the sides. Now that you know how to add widescreen bars in Final Cut Pro, I want to show you how to animate text in Final Cut. I made another video called How to Animate Text in Final Cut Pro. Go ahead, click here. You're gonna love it.